Hey, welcome back. So for this video, we are going to go ahead and create this Allen wrench right here. Notice that this will be our front side, our top side. This will be our right side. This will be our back side. So as far as our dimensions go, you can go ahead and get these dimensions by using some calipers. So if you need help getting the correct dimensions, here are the correct values. You'll be using these to create the drawing. So in this situation, I'm going to go ahead and start creating a sketch on my front view. Click sketch. And this will be my path. So overall, we're going to just sweep a hexagon across a path that we create, and that'll create our structure. Before we continue, let's make sure we're working in inches. We're good to go. So now we're on our sketch, on our front view. Go ahead and select the line. We're going to create a line going up like this. And let's add another line going across here. And now we need to use a fillet feature. So let's go ahead and add a, let's round out this section. It's okay if we just use a value of 0.25, go ahead and accept and enter. And now we just accept this drawing. Now for the next part, we're going to go on our right side. Let's go ahead and click on sketch, select the right plane. Let's reorient ourselves. And now we're creating a hexagon that's centered at the origin on our right plane. So go ahead and click on this item right here, inscribe polygon, center it at the origin. Oops, let's make sure we select six sides. All right, let's make sure this is horizontal here. Show constraints. Okay, and now as far as the dimensions go, notice we want we want each line to have a value of 0.159. So now I select one of these lines, and now we're adding a value of 0.159. And everything should resize. Let's go ahead and measure out this top line and this bottom line right here. And it should be a value of 0.275. Notice we have a value of 0.275 here. All right, so now notice we have a height value here between this area and this point here. So let's put a value of 1.273. So let's go ahead and accept this. Let's go back to our path. So now we're back on our front view. We're looking at our path sketch. So we're gonna need a height value for this section here, which will have a value of 1.273. Let's go ahead and measure this out at 1.273. And then the length of this line here, and then this length right here will have a value of four. Notice that this is from this edge to this portion here. Let's go ahead and accept this. So now we're selecting sweep, solid, new, and our face sketch regions to sweep. It'll be this hexagon, and the sweep path will be the path that we created. And notice we have our Allen wrench created, and we go ahead and accept. Our part one is created down here. So at this point, we're pretty much finished. This is all we need, and we're good to go. So anyways, thanks for watching, and check out the other videos.